land. So important, God, all of us, the farmers, the ranchers, God, all of them. Great awakening. This is the time we beseech you, Father, in the name, in the name. Great awakening. It, this is your time. Great awakening, Lord. This is the time. Awaken love in the hearts of every man, woman, teenager. Great awakening, Lord. This is the time. This is the time. Revival time. Revival time. Great awakening, God. We cry to you before you in heaven, God. Before this throne of grace. Great awakening. Great awakening, yeah. Before your throne of grace. Great awakening. Great awakening, God atmospheric change atmospheric change in the land hearts will awaken to your love and grace God both saved and unsaved so many church people haven't been to the inner courts for years Lord they've not been before your throne for years so we thank you for the release of your Holy Spirit we came today to worship adore and pray great great awakening God awaken love awaken people to your love and your grace and we're speaking joy to the population, joy unspeakable, full of your glory. We release it right now, God. We said, joy unspeakable, full of your glory. Run through the land, Lord. I see you walking through the fields. We join you. Prophetic word for Saturday afternoon. I see you walking in the fields. You said, come join me. Yes, God. We come join you in the spiritual. The harvest will come in with a great awakening and the outpouring, the outpouring of your Holy Spirit. Keep praying, you guys. Everybody pray. into heaven Lord this is our place in the royal priesthood right now taking our place interceding and worshiping as part of the royal priesthood 1 Peter 2 9 the chosen generation the royal priesthood wow wow
Yeah. 
every nation, God, all over the world. Incense is rising now. And all over the world, incense, prayers of the saints, prayers of the saints.
difference in our cities, our counties, and our states. Every prayer counts. Every gathering counts for your glory. Jesus. Jesus. My youngest daughter, Ariel, who's 28 now, wrote a song called Awaken Us, and I brought it today to sing it from the porch. God, I love it. I'm on the porch, man, between the porch and the altar. I'm on the porch. So we're going to sing this song. We're going to learn it today. Awaken us, Lord. Awaken both the lost and the saved. There's some super outer court believers. I don't know that they've really tasted of their presence recently, but this song, Awaken Us, is just fired up. I did it a couple weeks ago in Heston, Kansas, and blew the place up. We did it on Friday night and Sunday morning, and these spirit-filled Mennonite people were getting it on. They were singing heartily. Think of that, Gwen. Spirit-filled Mennonite people said, come on, bro, what do you got? I'll sing that. As we seek your face, turn from our way, will you?
world that's grown cold, sin your fire. We will cry with a one desire. Awaken us, awaken as your people we are longing to see. like in the 70s and 80s thousands millions of people were swept in to the baptism of the holy spirit the lord will do it again somebody say hallelujah hallelujah the lord will do it again that's why i'm here on the porch greg praise said, thanks for coming i said bro any chance we have to call out for a great awakening so ariel mariah i said when i take you to israel they're going to think you're jewish they're going to speak to you in yiddish that is a Jewish name. 
Ariel, the lioness of God, and Mariah, the mount of sacrifice. Pin this partially in our prayer room at Destiny Church in St. Louis. This came to her like spontaneously in the prayer room at Destiny Church in St. Louis. Awaken us, awaken as we seek your face and turn from our wicked ways. As we seek your face, turn from our way. Will you hear our praise from heaven? As we cry aloud from the blood show.
So we're going to pray the awakening scriptures. Awakening the... Awakening, awake, awakening across this beautiful land, America, God, Illinois, Missouri. Specifically, we say, touch the heartland with your glory, God. Kansas, Missouri, Illinois, Iowa, Nebraska. We're not flyover anymore, Lord. They thought we were flyover. I got news. Our vote count and our worship counts, God. We're not flyover in your sight. We're a part of heaven. We got March. We're on assignment from the porch. We're in an assignment on the porch here in Marine, Illinois, God. We have an assignment. Awake, awakening, great awakening. Chronicles, God, where you say, if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray, and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways. God, we seek your face today, God. We don't seek your hands. We don't seek anything else. We seek your face, God. But your smile of approval, Lord, your nod of agreement. Turn from our ways. What are those, God? It's anything that we want to do apart from your word. Jesus said he only did the things he saw the Father do. God, that's that's what we want our testimony to be. We only do the things we see the Father do. Because then we know from your word that you hear from heaven, that you hear our prayers, and that you're healing our land. As we cry aloud from the blood-soaked ground, many of you may say, what does that mean, blood-soaked ground? Well, let me tell you, we're America. When they came to America and founded America, when the pilgrims came to America and and founded this nation and, and dedicated it to the purposes of God, And you moved on our founding fathers with a concept that had never been heard of before on the face of the earth. A concept of freedom and liberty. A concept of self-government, God. You moved on our founding fathers to create this government, God, that we have right now that's in jeopardy. It's in jeopardy right now. We are praying, God, that we would not be jeopardized, that the blood that was shed by those freedom fighters that fought against the tyranny of government so that we could have what we have today, God. Their blood is still crying out from this ground. For the Civil War, God, that was, that was fought so that slaves could be set free. So that no longer we would have a scourge on our nation of slavery. That people would be owned by other people. We still fight against that, God, every day. The concept of trafficking. We pray against that every day. Lord, the sacrifice that evil people do. We pray against that every day. The blood-soaked ground of the millions of aborted babies that have happened in this nation. It cries out from the ground for justice. It cries out. It cries out today and every day. So we cry for justice, God. Come and heal our land. Come with your justice. Uncover the things that are done in secret. Uncover the corruption in our nation right now. Uncover it, God, so that we can again be that free people that the pilgrims who landed on Plymouth Rock had a vision of. That we could send the glory of God around the nation 
You have blessed this nation so graciously. The natural resource that we have here is amazing, God. People from all over the world, they just want to come here to be free. And that's in jeopardy, God. That freedom is in jeopardy right now. And so we stand in the gap and we say, come and heal our land. In a world that's grown cold, we don't see that we're blind if we don't see the coldness that's in this world we're blind deaf and dumb we as your church stand here God and we see the coldness of society we see the coldness of the world how they don't care about the the, the, the sanctity of life anymore people are just people to be used and abused spit out and thrown away your fire God we cry with one desire send your wow. fire yes send your fire of the Holy Spirit send your fire on the church God that we might operate in power and anointing again God not be cold like the rest of the world not be cold and indifferent living in our own little societies in our own little neighborhoods with our own little cushy lives Cry out right now, Father. In a world that's grown cold, send your fire. We will cry with one desire. Awaken us. Awaken us. Awaken us. As your people, we long to see you come with your unending mercy. Because that's how we know you, God. We know you as the merciful one that comes in mercy to save and to heal and to deliver. This is you, God. This is who we know. Can we portray you as that to the world around us? Can we do that in all honesty, in all grace that you come and pour your grace all over us and all we do is consume it? Will your people come with your unending mercy? And God, this part of the song, call the dead from their sleep, we can do that every day. We come across dead people in our lives every single day. Lift them up before the Lord. Say, save them, God. Bring, bring the word, bring conviction to their heart. Call them up. Call the, the sleeping giant that's in this nation, the church. Call them to their feet. Let them rise as an army. The army of God must rise now. You want to disperse angels on our behalf. Just send them out into the ripened fields of harvest. Give us a burning desire to see the lost. Raise them up like an army. Claim them to be saved. When you see them and you know they're lost, claim them. I, I claim you for salvation before you hit the grave. I claim your life that you would have ears to hear and eyes to see. That your blinders would be taken off of your life. I rebuke the spirits that surround you and lie to you and keep you bound in sin. Make you selfish and desirous of others and greedy. That's not your way, God. Cause the blinders to be taken off of their eyes that we might see the truth, that we can hear the truth. What do you want to do? So many people that are, are deceived right now, even the church deceived right now, you can't see the forest for the trees because they're so introspective. Turn our eyes outward, God, so that we can see the people every day that are in our lives that need you. They need you. And we have you. We say, awake. Awake. Awake, O sleeper. Awake. Awake. Awake, you sleeper. You are awakening. You are awakening. To the God of justice and of mercy, you are awakening to the God of justice, God of mercy, you are awake, we pro 
prophesy, proclaim and decree this thing that you're awakening to the God of justice and mercy. thoughts of his heart will awaken and stir all generations. His plans are good for awakening generation after generation. Awaken means to rouse from sleep, cause to stop sleeping. Wake up! Stir from slumber. Come to, come to, and come around to your senses. Psalm 36, 9. You have the fountain of life that quenches our thirst. Your light has opened our eyes and awakened our souls. To know you is to experience a flowing fountain, drinking in your life, springing up to satisfy. In your light, we receive the light of revelation. So Psalm 33, 11. You awaken and stir all generations. You awaken and stir all generations right here, right now. You stir and awaken. This is from the voice translation. You stir and awaken all generations. You stir and awaken all generations right here, right now. You stir and awaken. purposes will last to the end of time. You stir and awaken. You have that giant ability. Well, you stir and awaken all generations. You stir and awaken all generations right here, right now. Right here, right now. You stir. Well, you stir and awaken all generations. You stir what you do, Lord. You open our eyes. Will you open our eyes and awaken our souls? Open our eyes and awaken 
in our soul. It's who you are. It's what you do. You awaken love. Yeah. You open our eyes and awaken our souls. Open our eyes and awaken our souls. It's who you are. It's what you do. Psalm 36, verse 9. for awakening our souls. Awaken our souls to the truth that we have the resurrection power of Jesus inside of us. Awaken your church to the truth. Awaken your church to the truth that we, our flesh, died with Jesus. But we are alive. Our spirit is alive because Jesus rose from the dead. Awaken, awaken dead souls, awaken. Your Father is calling you to awaken. Start with me, God. Awaken my soul to the reality that we have everything that we need. We are seated in heavenly places with you, Jesus. You've provided everything that we need to fulfill your purpose, your plans for us your plans for us, not our plans. So we lay down our plans as you are awakening our soul to the realities that you have provided all things to accomplish your plans in the earth. We thank you, Jesus, for shining a light on your path and awakening our souls. Awaken the souls in the church. Awaken the souls outside of the yes. church, God. Awaken. Yes. Awaken us. Yes. But start in my home, God. Start in my heart. Awaken my soul to the reality that the Spirit of God lives inside of me. And that I carry you, Jesus, wherever I go. Whenever I step out of my house. But even when I'm in my house with my kids and my husband and our friends and our family. God, you are in me. Let them see you in me. Awaken our souls to the reality. Galatians 2.20 When the Messiah was executed on the stake as a criminal... I was too, so that my proud ego no longer lives. But the Messiah lives in me, and the life I now live in the body, I live by the same trusting faithfulness that the Son of God had, who loved me and gave himself for me. My old identity has been co-crucified with Messiah and no longer lives, for the nails of his cross crucified me with him. And now the essence of this new life is no longer mine. For the anointed one lives his life through me. We live in union as one. Awaken our souls to this truth. That we are living in union as one with Christ. My new life 
is empowered by the faith of the Son of God who lives with me so much that he gave himself for me and dispenses his life into me. We have the life, the resurrection power of God in us. Awaken us. Awaken our souls to this truth. Rid our minds of lies that the church has put in there, that the world has put in there, that our parents put in there. Deliver us from the lies of this world and awaken our soul to the truth. The truth of the gospel, the truth that Jesus lives in us. Welcome Jesus to live in you today, if you have not already. And awaken our souls. Stir up the spirit of God in us. In Jesus' name we pray. The power of your resurrection life is awakening thousands, Lord. The power of your resurrection life is awakening millions, Lord. As in the power of your resurrection life is awakening hundreds, Lord. Your power and resurrection life is awakening. Myers wrote this song. We're singing over the heartland, God. Illinois, Missouri, Kansas, Iowa, Nebraska, Arkansas, Oklahoma, get it. We're saying you're awakening. These words Jesus gave to the disciples when they came and said, Jesus, they didn't know half of what Jesus was speaking. Would you teach us how to pray? And he gave them this prayer. Thank God in the New Testament, in the words, the red letter Bible, it's the words of Jesus. When he said, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name, my God. In your kingdom.
across this land who live in
left and the right well, the white, the black, the yellow the red, Lord the blood covers all, your blood covers all your blood, your blood, your blood covers all flowing to every nation it's covering your blood yeah your blood come thanks girl yeah 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 your blood will covers all yeah your blood it covers all and there it is God started March 19th and we're still going a few days off. We did 91 days straight of Psalms in a row. Uh, March, April, May, it was crazy stuff, man. And I was studying John 4, the woman at the well. And I love this story in front of it. It's very powerful. Uh, the Samaritan woman, when Jesus said, would you give me to drink? And he goes, she goes, well, first of all, I'm, oh, there goes a painting. Hi, hi. Gonna have precious leaves on it. <laughs> the woman at the well, she looked at Jesus and said, I know you're a Jewish man by the way you're dressed, and you know I'm a Samaritan by the way I'm dressed, and how is it that you're even speaking to me? He said, um, Would you give me to drink? And she said, Well, sir, you have no ladle, no bucket to draw the water with. And uh, he said, if you would ask me, I'll give you water. You'd never thirst again. It's called eternal life. <laughs> the water that Jesus said he would give her that day. But then after that, my friend Josh Coates and Joplin said, Ken, have you ever seen the Chosen TV series? I said, no. He said, you better get right to it, man. Because they're depicting Jesus' life. Very powerful. We've seen five of them or something. But it says she left Jesus and went to Sakar, the city she was from. It was Jacob's well. And she ended up telling everybody, this is, I think it's the Messiah, the anointed one has come. He told me everything I ever did. This is a woman who had five husbands now living with a man that she's not married to. And Jesus, she went and reported, this is a Messiah. So the city of Sakar, the Sakarians came out 
to meet Jesus. And they begged him once he started talking to stay two extra days, and he did. He stayed two extra days. And this is what they said at the end of the time with Jesus. Whatever, I'm sure the Samaritan woman had a beautiful name. We're going to know on the other side what her name was. <laughs> but it says, we believed you when you came and told us the Messiah has, the anointed one has arrived. But the bottom line is that we now know for ourselves, Christ is the savior of the whole world. If you read John 4, which is an incredible chapter, I mean, the Gospel of John is very powerful anyway. Um, so I found myself singing that Christ is the savior of the whole world. Here's the point, you guys. When she, when she said, you know, I think when the Messiah comes, he's gonna tell us everything we need to do. He goes, well, the one that's speaking to you now, I am he. He said, I am that I am. It's actually from Exodus when Jehovah God told uh, Moses, well, who should I say sent me? He said, well, tell him I am that I am sent you. <laughs> and the philosophers and the theologians still can't figure that out. <laughs> They've done multiple hundreds of years of study on I am that I am, and they still don't know what it means. Well, they think they know, but they go, we don't know. But Jesus actually referred back, the one that you're looking for, I am he. He said to her, I am that I am in Aramaic, speaking to the Samaritan woman. So I brought the great I am. We're going to F, boys and girls. Jared Anderson, Desperation Band, wrote this song years ago. My daughter recorded it on an album we did called Worthy of It All. He's the great I am, Greg. Whatever we need. Renee, he's the great I am. And that's why you're out here on this acreage right here. It's a safe place, a refuge. She took me over to the bar and she goes, well, tell me what you think. I'll tell you exactly what I know. This is a place of refuge and safety. And when the cities are somehow weirdly ignited in the wrong way, we'll be in safe places. They'll be like cities, towns of refuge, Marine, Illinois. And it's really crazy when Renee told me where the Ficker household is, the, the ground you bought. I know the chief of police of Marine. He's the worship leader over at the Assembly of God Church in Alton. No, 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 no. He is the worship leader. He's the chief of police of Marine. And I said, Bro, I'm going to come right along over there because my wife right here is from Belleville. So that's why I love Illinois and I pray for it, even though stop killing people in chicago oh my god it's a craziness but this song is called the great i am you're going to learn it with me i want to be close close to your side and heaven is real and death is a lie i want to hear voices of angels above they're singing as a one i want to be close lord yeah i want to be close and close to your side the heaven is real and depth is a lie i want to hear voices of heaven above the singing as one well hallelujah holy holy your god almighty you're the great i am and who is worthy none beside thee god Hallelujah, hallelujah, holy, holy, God almighty, great I am, and who is worthy, none beside thee, God almighty, you're the great I am. 
sing it out. You're the great, you're the great I am. My God, yeah, you're the great I am. Loving the world, but hating the dark. I want to see dry bones living again, singing as one. I want to be near your heart, God. Yeah, I want to be near, near to your heart. Yes, I'm loving the but hating the dark Wanna see dry bones Living again Singing as one Hallelujah Holy, holy God Almighty You're the great I Am